Hello guys. Dr. Enigma here. I'm going to be doing some tutorials to show people how to do some more complex Terraria modding stuff. I'm going to assume you know the basics and have a working basic mod already. If not, I advise you to go watch some simpler tutorials first to get the basic idea of how to mod and come back when you're ready for some complex stuff. I want to emphasize the one rule I have when making a mod. Don't copy code unless you understand what it does. You will not learn from doing this. These tutorials are meant to show you techniques and help you understand mechanics of T-Mod load and possibly a bit of C-Sharp. Now that that is out of the way let's get to the tutorial. In this one we will be making the boss move constantly towards the player. However, as we do it we will be laying the foundations to be able to alter this movement in many fun and interesting ways. Let's start by setting the destination point of where we want our boss to move. We will call the X position target X and the Y position target Y. We initialize them as float variables because Terraria stores positions as floats. After initializing them above set static defaults. We will set what they are actually representing in the AI method. They correspond to the X and Y positions of the center of the player that the NPC is targeting. I make a slight mistake here of not defining player, but I will fix that later. We also initialize a variable representing the max velocity we want our boss to travel, and how fast we want it to accelerate to that velocity with VXL. We should set these variables in set defaults to certain values as well, as we may want to change them to new values in later phases of the boss. Setting variables in set defaults resets the values of those variables every time a boss is summoned. If you don't do this, then for example, if a boss increases its max velocity in phase 2, and the players got to phase 2 and died, the boss would have the higher velocity when they summon it again because it wouldn't be reset in set defaults. We need to add a few more variables now. TVL stands for target velocity and VMAG stands for velocity magnitude. The reason we are adding separate variables for these instead of just having a target velocity value is to make smooth transitions into and out of stopping. You'll see what I mean soon. Here I see that I forgot to define player. So I get around to doing that. Now it's time to use the almighty <laughs> to calculate how far the target is from the boss's current position. Here we set the target velocity to be distance divided by a certain number. You can play around with this number if you would like to see what kinds of movement it gives. Larger numbers will make it slower when the boss gets closer to the player. Now we are checking whether to accelerate the boss or decelerate it. We accelerate by adding VXL if its current velocity is less than both the target velocity and the max velocity, as we don't want it going above either of those. If the target velocity changes to be less than the current velocity, we want to decelerate, so we subtract VXL instead. Now it's time to set the velocity of the boss using the variables we have calculated here. We need to check the distance is not equal to zero so that the code does not divide by zero. We are setting a new vector for the target position called T-Pose. Setting target X and target Y to a vector will allow us to use the method called Direction2 very easily. This method calculates the direction to a point in the game, and we set that point to target X, target Y. So now that we have a direction and a magnitude, we have everything we need to set the boss's velocity. Simply set the velocity to direction to T pose times Vmag, or the magnitude of the velocity, and there we go. We're ready to build. Prepare yourself for errors though. You're always bound to overlook something, like forgetting to put a 2 after vector. Small little things like that get me every time. Let's try again and hope it works this time. Well would you look at that. 
no errors. That doesn't mean it worked though. We have to test it in-game to be sure. Hey hey. Seems like it's working exactly as intended. That majestic ginger face can't stop trying to get close to me. Cough I mean uh, the boss is successfully following me and then decelerating when it gets close enough. Great. Hopefully this tutorial gave you some helpful tips. There are many more to come so stay tuned. Dr. Enigma out. Happy modding.